Our today's topic is specialized mechanisms for phosphorus uptake in plants. Phosphorus is essential for all life on earth. For plants, phosphorus is a key element in photosynthesis, respiration, and the biosynthesis of nucleic acids and uh, membranes. It also plays an important role in the regulation of many enzymes. As a plant micronutrient, phosphorus frequently limits productivity in both natural and agricultural systems, uh, especially crop production in low input systems worldwide. In spite of the abundance of phosphate in soil, phosphorus is poorly available to plants. Due to its extremely low diffusion rate and uh, substantial fixation by soil minerals. Overuse of phosphorus fertilizers results in low phosphorus use efficiency and has serious uh, uh, environmental consequences and accelerate the depletion of phosphorus mineral reserves. Plants only take up phosphorus as digrometoids, H2PO4, from their rhizosphere and no organic phosphorus. Now, what is rhizosphere? Rhizosphere is the area of soil around the plant root uh, that is influenced by the root. Two important mechanisms for phosphate uptake in high plant uh, roots are number one, the activity of high affinity phosphate transporters and the second one is the symbiotic association with herbascular mycorrhizal fungi. There is a strong relationship between the primary mechanisms of phosphorus uptake and uh, phosphorus transporters, regulators, root architecture, metabolic adaptations, quantitative trait plus I, uh, then hormonal signaling and uh, micro, uh, micro RNAs. Plant responses to phosphorus starvation. It includes upregulation of phosphorus transporters, related mediators, and root morphological adaptations. Then metabolic alterations for efficient phosphorus utilization, hormonal regulation under low phosphorus conditions, then involvement of microRNAs in response to phosphorus starvation. First, we'll discuss phosphorus transporters. There are four families of phosphorus transporters in Arabidopsis, PhD1, PhD2, PhD3, and PhD4. The PhD1 family comprises high affinity phosphate uh, proton symporters, mostly expressed in the roots of nine members in Arabidopsis. There are 13 members in rice, six members in maize, and uh, eight members in barley. Barley phosphate transporters are the best get prized among all crops. The transcription of PhD1 transporters is um, induced by phosphorus starvation and they are responsible for phosphate uptake from the soil and transport to the shoot and the mycorrhizal symbiotic interface. In barley, PhD1.1 and PhD1.2 are expressed in root epidermal, cortical and vascular tissues while PhD1.8 and PhD1.9 are regulated by ubiquitin E2 conjugase PHO2, uh, which controls phosphorus remobilization. Regarding transcription factors, WRKY75 is one of several transcription factors induced during inorganic phosphate deprivation. WRKY75 is the first member of the WRKY transcription factor uh, family involved in phosphorus acquisition and root architecture changes. Then next is metabolic changes in plant facing phosphorus deficiency. Plants undergo a series of metabolic changes to maintain cytoplasmic phosphate concentration and intracellular ATP and nucleotide levels upon phosphorus starvation. Among these uh, uh, adaptations, phosphorus deficiency induces de novo synthesis of extra and intracellular eruptopsis purple acid phosphorase. 
phosphorus starvation induced intracellular acid phosphatases are involved in phosphate remobilization and recycling from intracellular phosphate reserves then phosphorus starvation also causes the over accumulation of anthocyanin it inhibits crop growth and development and significantly reduces economic yield next is role of hormones in shaping root architecture with insufficient phosphorus supply hormones like ethylene oxyn and gibberellin play a essential role in regulating responses to low phosphorus levels and uh, phosphorus signaling one of these essential regulations is that these hormones mediate root responses to low phosphorus level ethylene restricts primary root growth alters the root growth angle and stimulates root hair development under conditions of low phosphorus availability auxins also inhibit primary root elongation in rhabdopsis under conditions of low phosphorus availability due to higher auxin concentration in the root meristem and increased auxin sensitivity in addition to ethylene and uh, indole three acetic acid iea gibberellins are also critical regulators in the plant response to phosphorus deficiency next is involvement of micro rnas in response to uh, phosphorus starvation now what is micro rna micro rna are a class of non coding rnas that regulate gene expression and uh, they are about 22 bases long under conditions of phosphorus starvation micro r399 accumulates in the phloem regulating phosphorus uptake and allocation through three target genes in a conserved manner phd 1.7 pho2 and a dead box helicase in eruptopsis mir399 guides pho2 mrna degradation to regulate phosphorus homeostasis atpho2 mrna degradation is inhibited when an rna duplex with a mismatch loop form between at ips1 and micro r399 due to incomplete sequence complementarities now we will discuss mechanisms for phosphorus uptake as i already told you two important mechanisms for phosphate uptake in high plants are the activity of high affinity phosphate transporters and the symbiotic association with arbuscular mycorrhizal enzyme first is the role of different phosphate transporters in uptake of phosphorus uh the plant phosphate transporters from phd1 family appear to have a high affinity for phosphate the sensitivity of plant phosphate transporters to proton concentration suggests that they operate as proton digromate symporters phosphorus concentrations with uh, within the cytosol are maintained within a narrow range by close regulation of both influx and efflux processes the rate of transport of phosphate across plasma membranes will be partially determined by the number of transporters in the membrane this is dependent upon the rates of transcription of the genes encoding the transporters and the rate of mrna decay and the rates of protein turnover in addition to the number of transporters in the membrane the rate of phosphate uptake will be uh, modulated by allosteric regulation of the transport proteins in rhabdopsis 
both root hair length and root hair frequency increase in response to phosphorus starvation uh, greatly increasing the surface area of the uh, of the root in contact with the uh, soil solution phosphorus move symplastically through the root toward the steel initially uh, taken up by the epidermal cells right although some degree of apoplastic movement into the root can also occur the presence of uh, severized endodermis uh, in the roots of most angiosperms restricts this pathway uh, so transport of phosphorus uh, across the cortex and uh, into the steel is likely to be symplastic right the process of xylem loading in the steel is the next step in the phosphorus transport pathway this involves export of phosphorus into the apoplasm of the steel the phosphorus that has entered the xylem uh, sap is then mobilized to sink tissue such as uh, uh, young leaves next mechanism is phosphate uptake through mycorrhizal fungi first of all what is mycorrhizal uh, what is mycorrhiza mycorrhiza if you remember is a symbiotic association between plant roots and the fungi right so most plant species can form symbiotic association with mycorrhizal fungi and benefit through uh, greater access to soil phosphorus most agricultural health and uh, forest species that form cluster roots do not appear to become colonized by mycorrhizal fungi so formation of cluster roots or mycorrhizal colonization therefore appear to be alternative strategy for improving phosphorus acquisition in most species the hyphae of mycorrhizal fungi extend up to 25 cm from the root considerably increasing the volume of soil explored uh, for nutrient phosphorus taken up by the fungi is then uh, translocated along the hyphae to the plant root uh, plant root fungal interfaces arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi is characterized by the formation of branched structures arbuscules within the cortical cells right arbuscular mycorrhiza arbuscular mycorrhiza is an endomycorrhiza actually uh, that occurs when symbiote fungus penetrates the cortical cells of the vascular plant roots right so arbuscules uh, in which need the host cell membrane forming symbiotic interface with the very large surface area the peri arbuscular membrane i can see here this is cortical cell and uh, this is um, arbuscule cortical cell wall plasma membrane and this is peri arbuscular membrane right so peri arbuscular space in between then uh, um, arbuscule cell wall and membrane right so the fungus and plant remain separated by apoplastic space with the fungus topologically outside the plant phosphorus transport uh, transfer occurs across this apoplastic space so involves uploading from fungus and floating into the plant root symplasm at the peri arbuscular membrane the processes involved in phosphate transport in symbiosis involving ectomycorrhizal fungi are likely to be similar to those with uh, uh, this uh, arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more thank you